In this video, we're going to look at Faraday's law, and we're going to calculate the number of electrons, uh, the chemical amount of electrons, so mole of electrons, transferred when a battery delivers 0.3 amps for 15 minutes. Now, <clears throat> in order to do this, we need to see a, r a few relationships. And in your data booklet, it'll tell you that the amps or coulombs per second, this actually is hinting at a relationship which is that the charge or Q equals current times time in seconds. So if I look at that again it said that amps or coulombs per second. An amp is equal to coulombs or charge per second which is time. The symbol for current is I, coulombs the symbol is Q and seconds is time. So if I go back and rearrange that, Q equals I times T. Well, this is going to get used to find the amount of charge. The number of moles of electrons is equal to current times time divided by Faraday's constant, or it's equal to coulombs divided by Faraday's constant. Faraday's constant is 9.65 times 10 to the 4 coulombs per second. That can also be found in our data booklet here. So they give us Faraday's constant. And again, this doesn't give us a, a formula, but if we understand that Faraday's constant equals the number of coulombs divided by mole, F equals coulombs per mole of electrons, or number of moles of electrons, and that coulombs is the same as I times T, right? The charge is equal to that. That Faraday's constant equals current times time in seconds div divided by the number of moles of electrons. Well, if we rearrange that, we get to Faraday's law. We can find that uh, the number of moles of electrons equals I T over Faraday's constant. Now I'm doing a little bit of <clears throat> jumbling around, but essentially this has hidden in it the equation we need. So our equation that we're going to use here is the number of moles of electrons equals current times time divided by Faraday's constant. And so I've got the current, I've got the time, but the time isn't in seconds, and they want the number of moles of electrons. So the time is going to be 15.0 minutes. I want to get rid of the minutes, and I want to be left with seconds, 60 seconds in one minute. And so <clears throat> I'm going to find out that that is 90 seconds, or pardon me, 900 seconds in 15 minutes. Well, that's it. Sorry. Yes. So the current is 0 0.300 amps times the time, which is 900 seconds. And I'm going to divide it by coulombs, 9.65 times 10 to the 4 coulombs per mole of electrons. And the number of moles of electrons is going to be 0.3 times 900 divided by uh, Faraday's constant gives me 2.7 or 2.80 times 10 to the negative 3 mole of electrons, or the number of moles of electrons will be 0 0.0028. zero mole. And we'll use that in another calculation. So this is helpful because I will be able to use this in redox stoichiometry or cell stoichiometry. So you'll find the continuation of this in cell stoichiometry video that follows.